Resonance Bowl can be traced back to ancient China almost 2,500 years ago. It was first used for the purpose of meditation and as a toy for the upper class. Your students can use it to investigate the concepts of standing waves and resonance. The resonance bowl comes with a special pad that should be placed underneath it during use. The pad ensures that all of the vibrational energy will stay in the bowl. The bowl should be filled with water, and your hands should be clean and completely free of any oils. The handles of the bowl should also be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol to enhance the effect. Moisten your hands using the water in the bowl, and then rub your hands on the handles back and forth. At four points in the bowl, water will begin to ripple, and then will spout up and out of the bowl. What is happening? The vibrations in the handle increase the vibrations in the bowl at its natural frequency. In physics, this is called resonance. These large vibrations cause two phenomena to occur. First, the bowl will create a sound. Second, the standing waves created when the bowl vibrates form an interference pattern in the water. These waves create four antinodes in the bowl. These are the areas where water spouts out of the bowl. While the bowl is vibrating, students can explore the concepts of nodes and antinodes. If the bowl is touched at a nodal position, the bowl will continue to vibrate. But if it is touched at an antinode, the vibrations will be dampened. By placing a small amount of sand in the bowl instead of water, the wave patterns can also be seen. Observe the nodes and antinodes that have been created here. Students love using the resonance bowl, and it will certainly enhance their understanding of standing waves and resonance.